How can Tinder guys with production values like that <laughs> lose? Watch and find out. I forgot to put the glasses on. Hold on. There you go. I can. Oh my god, these are so dirty. <laughs> We're off to a good start. What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're having a good swipe surge out there. You're being, you're practicing safe, uh, safe dice rolling. And <laughs> Vince, what's up, man? Thanks for the sub. All right. You guys ready for some more X-Wing? It's what we're, we're back here for. It's been a little while. We haven't, you know, we streamed some X-Wing last night. We're doing more X-Wing today. It's the Tinder Gods versus Order 66 as the series is tied. The Tinder Gods are looking for just their second dubby of the season. Your boy is not being the best team captain. He's not winning as much as he'd like to be, aka he hasn't won at all. So I'll have my chance tomorrow to, you know, against Levi. It should be fun at least. He's a good guy. And please no more Requiem for a Dream. Dude, that, that I don't know what you're talking about. That shit slaps so hard. It slaps harder than Will Smith at the Oscars, my guy. How could you how could you possibly want that? I think we all like that intro. And it, 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 I feel like it hits harder when we're bad because it, we're still confident, which matters. That's that's how you win on Tinder, man. You just keep your confidence up, even though everything is trying to bring you down. All right. So you guys are betting before I opened it because I'm really good at streaming. So open, uh, betting is open. Please try to try to bet again. Let's see. Streamlabs. I need to refresh Streamlabs here. Are we good now? There we go. And let me also change Dan's side over to order 66. All right, without further ado, let's introduce our players here. First of all, representing the Tinder Gods, the home team. Oh yeah, that's right. That's us, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're Tinder Gods. So I can't believe that's the team name I chose, but it, it's fun. Uh, we got Andre, my boy, my all-star here. Andre switched over from First Order to Separatists. And of course, the overlay here is does not have the initiatives in proper order. There we go. So starting us off here, we've got Django Fit with Notorious, Savage Press, Broton Bobs, Dead Man Switch, False Transponder Codes, Slave One, Title, and Veteran Tail Gunner. And then we've got Dirge with Elusive, Proton Cannons, Zondu Blood, and Proton Bombs. We got the Bombardment Drone. Uh, actually, we'll do Grievous first. We got Grievous without maneuver. Impervium plating and you know, it's the usual soulless one and then of course can't forget about our independent calculating strutting prox mine carrying bombardment drone That is your exclamation point bet one all player here representing the tinder gods and of course representing Andrew Oler's order 66 They're doing fairly well this draft league season. They got a great team We've got Dan Athey playing Empire his least favorite faction, but he's sticking it out because he knows how to win Execute Without further order ado, Order 66. 66. Yeah! Woo! All right, we got a three-ship list here. Love it, Dan. We got Boy Vader with the shit. And then we've got Soontier. This is what I'm going to spend the most time on. We've got Soontier Fell. We've got Elusive. We've got Predator. And we have Shield Upgrade. Mwah. Chef's Kiss. And then we've got Rack. Nice Rack. We've got Marksmanship, Palpatine, uh, Minister Tua. Then we've also got Agile Gunner, Proton Bomb, Tax Scrambler, and Dauntless. So pretty good for the Scramble Damble, if you know what I mean. Three, uh, you got two I6s and I5. And that is your exclamation point bet to all player representing order 66 this is the momentum game which uh what does that mean that means that whoever wins this game is going to be it's going to shift the momentum into a uh back to the wall game tomorrow i assume matt i don't know if matt's playing today or tomorrow but matt and i both haven't played yet so you know we'll see what happens here should be should be fun and we're, uh, we're already underway here, so I'm starting the timer. And here we go. Boom. Thank you all for being here on your Saturday afternoon here. I might be checking in on the Cubs game because they're playing a close game right now. I don't believe they're going to win, but I'm here to... Oh, never mind. It's 9-4. to four. Yeah, no, they're definitely going to lose. 
I was like, if it's six to four, I would watch the ninth inning, but nine to four, I think I'm gonna call it. And here comes Rack taking a target lock on a rock here. This is the false transponder codes. Uh, th but here's the thing, Rack's a five, so it doesn't really matter because Django's a six. So, so you take the lock there because you can. It doesn't matter at all. So something to keep in mind. People are like, oh, do you have jam? Then I'll just lock everything. It's good if it's overlapping initiative or you have a higher initiative than the jammer. But if you don't and it's lower, it does not matter. It just does not. Oh my goodness. Unless the jam happens at a different timing than the activation phase. But still, the jammer always chooses what gets jammed off. We missed the hype train. Well, that's just devastating. It's only $5. It's only $5. I'm just, I just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you guys wonder where that's from, if you're wondering why I say that, some of you might not be as in the know. There were some streamers a while ago that got in a lot of hot water for trying to manipulate and guilt their stream into giving them money. Some of them were like cam girl type stream streamers. <laughs> they were just like, you're just freeloading. What are you doing here if you're not giving me money? So we like to joke about the only $5 thing. But it is only it's only it's only five dollars i'm excited to see this three ship imperial list though that's gonna be this will be this will be something for sure so we're playing scramble django and dirge in a good spot to do some scrambling soon tier looking to be on that flank no outmaneuver for soon tier. Uh, shield upgrade, predator, elusive makes just way more sense because you want to keep them around. Yeah, Django v Vader, that's uh, not great for Vader. So here's the thing, Andre is in a position where he can, he can cap two points, two to one for at probably two turns. And we are, uh, we're, we're setting dials for round two. Not liking the position for the Empire. Here's the thing, though, that we don't realize that we could see happen, is that we could see Rack do a hard turn up towards the middle of the board and still scramble. And then soon Tier will be on the flank. And first player is Dan again. This is Andre just furiously moves his cursor all over the place. And it's time for the bombardment drone to clip that. Oh, no. Ah, just kidding. I'm just going to sit there. Just chill. And we'll get a little scramble. Let's see if he grabs his tinder flame. There it is. The little tinder flame dropped on that point. Oh, we do one hard Grievous. I thought maybe it would go really fast. But instead, he's going to barrel roll and focus here. Huh. Okay. There's that red flag. There you go, Andre. Can't forget about our custom tokens here. And we do see Rack go. Just, you just go straight, and he's going to scramble, I assume. Rack does have the palp force. Scrambling, though, he could be taking some damage from Grievous if he scrambles, but he does. And Dirge scrambles. All right. So two to one. Everyone's taking points this turn. It's happening, folks. Soon tier. Debating if the boost, the uh, the boost to the left is gonna get out of Grievous's arc. I don't think so. You could barrel roll and then boost, but you won't get bullseye. Just 
He's thinking about it. What's he going to do? He's going to evade and then boost. But will be range one. Grievous is certainly going to have Soon Tier. Soon Tier, though, looks to have Bullseye. So going to be a hard one to hit here. Let's see. Does he have, does Soon Tier have Bullseye? That's pretty close. I think so. Vader has no interest in playing with Django, though. So Django is just going to scoot slowly. You know what that means, though? That means that those two points are Andre's for a while, for a long time. If I'm Andre, I'd probably boost down. Also, if I'm Andre, I don't know if I even shoot at uh, Soon Tier. I might take shots at Rack, assuming that's in range. gonna focus okay not that it matters not shooting anything you do get bullseye it looks like oh yeah you got it get that focus so no solace one rerolls so is actually a bit of a scary shot for grievous here let's see what we get here our first catch of the day Ah, two blanks. Not going to get four. Do you spend your focus here? You do that. You make it three. Grievous. <laughs> Rolls natty, evades, takes a shield. My gosh. Absolutely nothing for Django. Absolutely nothing for Dirge. Yeah, the third objective is hiding under rack right now rack does reach out and tab grievous here at range three here's that shot for two grievous natty evades again five out of five and evades so far for andre Mm. It's time to, I mean, Suntir has elusive in an evade. Grack has nothing. Oh, all right. He's going to Suntir. Doesn't get any rerolls. That's not going to do anything. So just two. Suntir's fine. Got the evade. It was kind of a miracle that he didn't even have to spend his focus there. Oh, wow. Look at this. You do have Rack. It's obstructed, uh, but not counting it because of the struts it's just one does racket this he, he does take a damage shield down on rack and that's gonna be it of two to one objectives for the tinder gods here as we head into round three kind of a soft engagement there not a lot of damage just a couple of damage so vader's kind of I mean, I don't even think you can call him a bait piece because he's worth six points and he's one of three ships in the list who's going to get chased now. You don't you don't want him to get cornered. He has afterburners. He can go pretty fast and get out of dodge. I will say with false transponder codes, Greg, it's a little easier to kill Rack than you'd think if you are able to, you know, you jam that and reinforce off. But that's assuming Vader doesn't pop it or Django doesn't use it earlier. But in this case, where everyone is, I, I don't think you're going to be able to get enough guns on Rack to kill him. Yeah, like maybe you get the shield off of uh, Soon Tier, or you, you get him to use Elusive because Soon Tier is just almost never going to 
do a red maneuver to recover it. All right. We are on in the planning phase right now. As they are getting the dial info. Andre wants to know what the X1 can do. What can you do? Same thing with Rack. So last night we sent $700 to Andre Lind at Launch Bay Next. Thank you again to everybody that uh, donated to support the builder. He, he commented on our post on Facebook. He's very grateful. And it means a lot, guys. Thank you. You're the best. Also really doing a quick focus check to make sure that I am in focus right now. Looks good. The focus, not me. Maybe, maybe I look okay. All right. Most of the dials are set here. Should be getting going here in just a moment. This could be a big turn. I expect soon to do it too hard and then try to get in on that that a bombardment drone who's going to have to make a choice do you turn do you rotate towards vader do you rotate towards soon tier Django and dirge will be able to cover his back a little bit i don't want to see Django go straight we'll see i mean dirge can cover that lane Django should probably do like a one bank or a two bank and, and kind of threaten that middle area and can either choose to bank down or the other way depending on what we see vader do All right, it's the road roll, and Andre is first player, so Django will be moving first before Vader. Oscar, Oscar Espino Flores. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. We're at 37 out of 50 now. Our goal of a metal objective tokens is inching closer, and we do get the rotate towards soon tier. Take the double calcs and the red flag. And nicely fits there with the two bank from Grievous is going to clear that red flag. And I think we see that focus boost straight. We do. Thankfully, the decimators can still get reinforces with Dauntless when they bump. Feels real bad with the ghost when you can't do that. You have to take a focus. <laughs> and Dirge, oh, Dirge two hearts. It's interesting. He's debating on if he should boost down and towards soon tier or straight. Very emphatic movement of the hands there. You can see. Those of you guys just joining us, welcome. Happy Saturday. Anybody doing anything fun tonight? Are you going out? Staying in? I still need to build my Lego Rivendell. You guys should, should help me. Oh, you pissed off MAGA? Nice. Yeah, dude, Twitter's become a MAGA scape, hasn't it? With all the Twitter blue. I didn't realize they were going to force everybody, even like a, like politicians and stuff, to have to buy it. Most most accounts, sports accounts, that are, no one's interested in paying for it because it's kind of an endorsement of bad business and Elon. <laughs> Which, his rocket was just such a huge success. It exploded. Reading the comment, the the, the people's mentions and you know comments on those videos and defending how it was like such a big deal that the rocket like got off the ground it's like dude you know how much taxpayer money goes into building those rockets like we've made it to the moon we've sent a rover to mars <laughs> reinforces the front there yep django does go straight and pretty quickly i might add 
I assume you lock now. Fader did smartly lock the the rock there, so I'm not sure if you want to use your your codes right now. This takes a focus. And there it goes soon tier. Not sure. Does the folk does the focus boost or vive boost? Yeah, it should line you bullseye. But Barman Drone really wants to drop prox mines on somebody. Let's see. How about that bullseye? Oh yeah, no doubt. I assume you take it, took an evade or did he just boost for his action? All right. So Vader does take a lock to burn false transponder codes on Django. And there's the focus from soon tier. First though, Django, range two. That's pretty good. You have a force. That's gonna be two hits and a crit here. Vader. Oh, Vader's taking two. Shields down. Two shields out of three. Vader back. Three dice on two. Django will have an opportunity to notorious. Uh, sorry, two dice because the lock was jammed. Going to spend the force to make it to Django. It's <laughs> rolls that he evades again. That's seven green seven for seven natural evades god i watch this stuff man i would just love like just one of those just one of those rolls i don't ask for th three of them two of them just one time fantastic would be superb soon to your range two bullseye there you go two hits and a crit crit's gonna go through on this droid Hit crit will go through. You spend a calculate. Let's see what we get here. This matters. All the crits matter on these droids. Well, most of them, I, I would say. A damage sensor array. Their damage sensor array can only focus or do actions on damage cards. The bomber down to three. Rack, range zero. For just one, Grievous is safe with more evades. Focus evade there. Range zero, Grievous maybe hoping to get a couple. That's going to be just one. Reinforce does nothing. Shield on rack. The bombardment drone. Range two in a soon tier. This is just kind of a shot. You take it because you can. Sure, calculate for two. Why not? Soon tier needs to blank out here. It's fine. Spend that focus. But that's true. Soon tier must disengage or be... Uh, guaranteed to eat a prox mine, which elusive and shield upgrade are only going to do so much. <laughs> and elusive, you can't even use when you're hit, getting hit with a mine. So you don't want to flirt with danger like that. So I would imagine we see Soontir do something like a two bank to the right towards the middle of the board. With that said, I, if I'm Andre, I'd probably rotate and fix. Damage sensor ray and then dirge. Dirge will probably just go straight. We're gonna agile gunner to the side. I don't know if a three straight is gonna clear for Andre here. Ooh, 
Looks like it should. Grievous wants to scramble again. So four to two. Heading into round four. Again, Andre is just puppy guarding those top, those middle, the middle and top objectives and has a chance to take the bottom one as well. Rack won't really be able to do anything about it. If you're Andre, do you drop a prox mine here? I, I mean, Dan knows it's gonna, it's there. You don't expect to hit soon tier. That is the downside of flying a three ship list with, I mean, speaking of somebody that f flew Luke on a wedge at Worlds, yeah, scramble's a tough one. You do get to scramble last, but those uh, those actions are precious and playing against like FO and Republic, they, they're really good at scrambling and having the way, ways to still hurt you. What's up, John? First time chat, I don't believe that. You've totally been in the chat before. Think you always procs here? I mean, right, you have one more. Just make that lane, just you just block it permanently or threaten to do so. Yep, you're you're right. That's true. So Vader is strained right now. He's kind of facing down a rock from a distance. If I'm Andre right now, I feel pretty good. Like your three your three point ship is taking the most damage. And is also not in a horrible spot. How'd your Republic player do at Scramble? <laughs> well, you, I didn't, I didn't get to watch your game. I don't know, man. It's all good. Not always, not, not a never guaranteed win. I heard you did a lot of damage though. Your your opponent just did more objective play or something. I don't know. Also, uh, Road always plays a role in Scramble. You created a new account. Ah, so you are. This account is a first time chatter. All right, a little slower of a planning phase here. Still plenty of time here, though. We're, we're on a good pace. Players are playing quickly. Got Andres uh, rocking some of our custom alt art. We got our elusive here, which is kind of fun. 312 Sub Club, I'm giving away two of those. So if you're in it, if you're subscribed to us, even if it was gifted to you, you do have access to that in our Discord. You can react to the post so you have a chance to win one of those cards, which is kind of fun. Pretty dope. All right, it's time. Road roll. And it goes back to the Empire here as uh, Dan becomes first player in round four with 50, just under 50 minutes left in the game. Ooh, we've got ourselves a bomb. A proton bomb action here from Rack.
think Revis is willing to eat that, though. And we are going to... Oh, boy. We're jumping off. Trying to block soon tier. A two bank, though, I think still clears. Maybe not. Grievous jumps over. I assume we scramble here. And we do. Just want to see if he fixed damaged uh, sensor array. He did. There's Rack. Banking. Probably take a lock. Do you have a shot on Grievous right now? Doesn't look like it. That's close. Well, that's all right, Ralph. Next time, my guy. How do, how'd you like playing Republic instead of playing Seps? There's the lock trying to just kill this dro droid. You're really hoping you can. It would be obstructed and likely range two. It's close. But here comes a proton cannon here from Dirge. He's going to take a focus and boost. Nicely done by Andre here. There it is. Oh, soon tier does clear. What did he do? It must have been at the two bank. Yeah, the two bank does fit nicely there. And you have a nice range one bullseye shot on Dirge. Just taking an evade. Don't see why it doesn't matter. Vader. Does the two bank and clears the strain, taking a lock onto Dirge. Oh, Janko does a K turn here. I don't know if he has a shot. He does, maybe? Wow. He doesn't have contraband. It's worth mentioning. Soon tier gets the focus. Range one shot. Also, the bomb goes off and hits Grievous, so shields are down. I bought Republican CS first, so I love them. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're playing a faction you love. Cool. Let's see how much damage we can do to Dirge here, huh? Soon tier, four dice. Range one Predator is active here. Well, only one blank, you Predator, hoping for more paint. You do get it, and you spend that focus, and that's four hits going into Dirge here, guaranteeing two already. Dirge is going to blank out. Rut row, Raggy, going to spend Elusive here into another blank. He takes it all down to just three. All of a sudden, Dirge could be initiative killed. However, Dirge, Separatist Dirge does have that ability with repairing damage cards. Three dice on three dice from Vader. And that's, yep, going to be a hit and two crits here. A crit going through, guaranteed. Well, actually, no. There are three dice for Dirge here. And he just takes a crit. Okay, could have been worse. It is a hull breach. Not dead yet. Again, Dirge is only worth four points as well. It's just so cheap. And he's harder to kill. He does have Vader. But only two. Hit crit with Slave 1 title. Vader should be... He's, no, he takes another shield. Gets a force back. Shields are down. just three hole left the naked hole rack has range two obstructed into the bombardment drone who has three hole left has a palp force available
I guess he decided to use the... No, he didn't use the power force. Huh. Okay. Three on three here. But Andre has no green tokens, so... This could be... This could be a kill shot, maybe. Ooh, not a great roll. You just re-roll everything here. Yeah, you spend the lock, you re-roll everything, and pretty bad. That's awful. So you can palp for one. And the droid is fine. Droid rolls Natty of AIDS. It wouldn't have mattered, apparently. And Andre, again, able to keep his focus tokens, uh, or his focus token with a dirge here for this proton cannon, which is going to hurt. So there is no reinforce, so just zero agility all the way through. I'm going through a real rough X-Wing patch. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the goddamn club, my friend. I have been experiencing a rough X-Wing patch for like two months. So you are not alone. And going to spend, that's going to all go through. Uh, the proton cannon shot there for hit, crit, crit, rack. Does take a crit onto the hull. see what the crit is cots fire not really important like a whole breach is the one that's always the worst on them uh blinded pilot is unfortunate we have a barman drone now Yeah, while you're posting here. Well, I'm sorry. What's what's been going on? Are you just rolling really bad, or is yeah? There, you go. but Marvin Drone deserved to roll badly there. <laughs> Would have liked to have gotten like a damage on rack, but that's fine. But it's now seven to two with Andre taking a bit of a wider lead here, having all three of the scramble points. But dirge down to just two with a hole breach. Bombardment drone down to three. I would we might see a prox mine get dropped by the bombardment drone. However, I don't think if you do that, if you drop the prox mine, you hit it. So, <laughs> don't know about that. If anything, maybe you just try to scoot too straight or something. It's like Vader is in a position to be able to scramble next turn. Django, I don't know about the one bank with Django. I don't know about that. You're definitely running over the rock. Do you care, though? Do you care about running over the rock the following turn? I'm not sure. You do care. I would probably still do the one bank because uh, you can take the point back the following turn. Just points hungry. Yeah, everybody's ready for them to change stuff. And I hope it's a pretty aggressive... I hear it might be an aggressive change, so. If Django 4K was a troll, the Jingo. Jingo 4K. I like that. Jingo baby. Wax. Get people DMing me. One second, sir.
All right, anyways. Anyways, oh no. Anyways, so with just under 40 minutes left, we got a couple, we've got a points shift here, a swing from Andre for the scramble points. However, he's got a couple ships on just a couple hole. Nothing snowballs like scramble. It, when it's three nothing, man. I got really excited at the prospect of having five crates when I was playing Catherine. I got a little too greedy, but I was close. It could have happened. Let's take a look here. Who still has to set their dials? I think everyone is set. Grievous. Grievous can keep Vader honest a little bit, I think. Vader has to get close enough to scramble. Like, you have to. Dan cannot afford to be down, like, 10 to 2. So that means I would imagine Vader's probably going towards the center point and not down. And that means Grievous can kind of maybe do a one hard or a two hard. Well, it's it's called efficient wing now. You know, you play things that are hyper efficient and co uh, under costed, for sure. I don't know. I, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Like, you know, you guys know I have my gripes and I'm here to stream for you guys and have a good time and just chill because we're here for fun. But uh, it becomes harder and harder to play just dealing with the same shit different day all the time. Dirge dropping a proton bomb and that's probably going to that's going to hit most likely it that might hit both sixes here. Forgot to chat proton bombs. Right. Two bank to block rack, taking the calculates, trying to block rack. It looks like you probably will. Don't think there's anything rack can do to not get hit and to not run into, yeah. Which would probably result in a prox mine, I would think. Maybe. Actually, depending on how rack hits, gets hit by it or by with the bump, I'm not sure you will actually hit him with the prox mine. Grievous doing that one hard. Taking the focus. I'm gonna sit there. Dirge goes in right in Rack's face. That's actually a really bad spot for uh for Dirge because of the bump the impending bump. Do you just cloak? Like what do you do? Just get better, Nick. Dude, I thought I was okay at this game. I feel like I'm horrible now, but... Wow, Rack does turn the other way. Huh. What did... What was the... What did Dirge do? Did he close? What did he... What was his actually focused? Okay. Well, Rack's just got himself in a corner now. I don't know if that he can get out of. He's actually... he He's done. There's He's cooked. He can't get out of that corner. A too hard is gonna fly him off the board. Right, two. Is he right here? Well, it's gonna be really close if he stays on. What do you guys think? Does Rack fly off the board? <laughs> Can you one hard then? Oh, do they have one hearts? I generally, huh? I forgot they could. They have a one hard. That's hilarious. You think he just barely clears? Yeah, that's definitely a spot to put him in for sure. If you're Andre, I think either way you're happy because he's just totally out of it for a long time now. Django, I would I would imagine just boosts. It's a red one hard, noted.
that proton bomb really matters for Vader because that's he's got no shields left. Why is Django focusing when he's not going to be shooting anybody? He would rather take a lock, but okay. Oh, hi, soon tier. Oh my gosh. Soon tier might have to do the ol. I'm not sure if the barrel roll, barrel roll boost fits, but that's a proton bomb to lose the shield. That's a range one shot from Grievous. Codes was already burned. So Codes doesn't matter. He should have just locked. I think Andre just wants to do like a one hard or two hard next turn. So, you know, he just doesn't want to. And it doesn't fit. The barrel roll doesn't fit. You should still have Bullseye. He does. But th that bomb's going to hit hit soon tier. Oh, Vader goes that way. Wow. I don't think Django catches him, though. But that's a little surprising. What did he do? A two? He did do the three hard, so he can't afterburners, but he would be getting in arc of Django. This is just a bad spot to be in right now for Vader. Yeah, I think Dan's hoping to kill the bombardment drone. If you stay there, yeah, Grievous could shoot you too. It was probably obstructed. He is going to afterburners. And then he has to claim, right? He doesn't get hit by the bomb. The target lock would have been real nice for, for Andre here. He's going to take a lock. Okay, I guess trying to kill... The bombardment drone opting to lose another three points this round. And uh, soon tier loses the shield upgrade. Officially gone. Soon tier does land bullseye. Gets that focus. So, again, going to be hard to, to hit, but only three hole now. And here we go with Django first range two into Vader. Vader at three hole. Ah, oh, there's a blank. Feels bad. I'm gonna spend to use slave one hit crit. Vader's been rolling a lot of two blanks in his rolls. What do we get this time? We get two evades. We're fa we're safe. But now you're chasing you're chasing Vader. Django is like licking his chops either way. Range one now. We got Bullseye for Predator here into Grievous. Grievous at five hole now. Solus one is act or Solus one is not active, but Impervium is. No crits there. Predator reroll. Returns a blank. Spend the focus. Do you spend the focus here? He does. It's three hits. So Grievous guaranteed to take one. Grievous is going to be taking. Ooh, does he spend? Does he spend? Does he spend? He does spend. Taking. Two. So Grievous down to just three now. Vader has an extra lock on Dirge. Cool. I'll uh, be sure to point that out in a moment um, once the round ends. Assuming Dirge is alive and all that good stuff. Vader. Drone is most likely a goner here. And can spend a calculate there. How many calculates does he have? You can only take one calculate. Direct hit. Down to just one. Uh, now we have Dirge. Range two. Primary. That's going to be another crit going through. The crit is a disabled power regulator. Doesn't really matter anytime soon.
Now, Rack, range one into the Mavarbent drone. You have the Palp Force. You have your eyeball to a crit conversion. So you would have to roll a ton of blanks for it to... For you to not feel good about killing this ship here. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Streamer curse. Rolls. Oh. But there's one hit in there. Survives. That's a huge rip. I knocked on wood. I I, met, I knew what I said. I knocked on wood. I'm a very superstitious person. I didn't want that to happen. I think he deserves the kill. Oh, another kind of subpar shot into soon tier who does have to spend the evade and still takes the damage, right? No. Okay. So 10 to 2, an 8-point lead now. So killing the drone is only going to get you 3. Rack, another issue here. Oh, console fire. Uh, hold on, let me just jump in there real quick. Oh, hello. Hi, hello. gentlemen. There's, no, just two quick things. One thing, um, you actually you, you cleared the lock on Dirge, so that's good, but uh, console fire. I don't think I saw you roll that. Oh, no, he did. He, did. he, he oh. rolled it over here. And it was oh, okay. Punched. Cool. Uh, you didn't roll in the box. Can you roll in the box next time? I don't really care. Just... Oh, sorry. That's okay. No sure worries. Thing. Just so sorry, I, because otherwise I interrupt you guys when I shouldn't. So, thanks. For the yeah, fans at home. Fun. No worries. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right. I heard a noise, but I didn't see it. So. And they cleared the lock, so that's good. Oh, that's right. Grievous spent the. Yeah, so he did only have one hit. Disable power regulator. So he he agile gunnered because he's gonna turn. You can't minister two up because it's gonna be red. And if you do a red one hard, you two straight off the board. The two hard is your only option. Unless you're okay with just sitting there with dirge lighting you up in bullseye. A bombardment drone also is probably gonna just take a turn, a hard turn down. Django in a position to chase Vader. It's all coming up Separatist right now. Grievous also, uh, he didn't link actions. So he could do a three bank and threaten a pretty scary outmaneuver shot into Vader. So 26 minutes left as we head into round six here in the planning phase. We didn't have anybody else sign up today for X-Wing, so this is our only game. This is, you know, a shorter stream today, but we do have two game uh, exhibition games, non-draft league games tomorrow. It's been a while since we've done List Chaos, so thanks to our Discord, we got players for two games tomorrow starting at 5 Central. So if you guys want to chill with some Sunday evening X-Wing, please swing by. Love to have you and chill. Matt should be back with me to do some commentary, and it'll be a good time. So real quick, I want to ask you guys, without spoiling it, please, um, even though I've, I finished it, just keep being conscious. Wh what would you guys give season three of The Mandalorian a rating? Zero being you could have made it better yourself with just a camcorder. Ten being perfect. What would you give the entire season? The road roll is kind of big here. If Andre is first, there's could four or five straight and block the one. Yeah, that's true. He could. He could do that. A six. You know what? I'm definitely in the camp of the six, around the six to six and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. One, one way to describe the show that season for me is aimless. <laughs> it kind of felt like it didn't know what it was doing for a while. Which, when you have to wait so long between seasons, can be a bit of a bummer. Where would you rank... Would you put season one above season three? 
because I really liked parts of season one and then there was like the middle area where I didn't really like it much. It just felt too formulaic. They was doing the same thing over and over again. Season two is by far the best, man. You won't, you know, you get ready to catch some hands if you think that season two is not the best season of The Mandalorian. It is by far the best. So good. I need to rewatch season two. And we dropped the Proxmine at the back just because Vader could be there, I suppose. Look at that cool proximity mine animation. Whoa, so neat, so cool. Look at that. The lasers. Pretty, that's pretty cool. TTS is cool. You got sometimes you, you forget we've been playing it for so long. And we get a bomb drop. Oh no. Rack with a proton bomb. The last one Rack has. Andre is first player here. As we had mentioned, I don't know what his what he's gonna try to do here. Too hard, and that's gonna be that's prob Ooh, that's close. Do you get hit by that? I th well, either way, you're, you're, you're there. Can't barrel roll anywhere. And there's Grievous's three bank. Grievous doesn't want to get real close to that, uh, to that Proxmite. He could do, he's debating the barrel roll focus here or the focus barrel roll. Season 2.5 was pretty decent, too. Oh, Dirge just, he just goes slow. He wants another Proton Cannon, but he's getting hit by a, by a Proton Bomb. He could focus boost and don't still don't think that gets you far enough away, but maybe. He's gonna focus barrel roll. Huh. Soon tier. Soon tier will be able to scramble and then boost and hopefully line up bullseye for a potential kill opportunity on Dirge. And there is the one hard. Yep. I don't the two hard would have flown him off the board. So Dirge doesn't get his bullseye. Django. Threatening Vader here. Let's go to the overhead view. Now is the time to take a lock. Take the lock. Take the lock. There's the ghost target lock going out there onto Vader. There it is. Vader again at just three hull. And here's soon tier. Soontir is going to scramble and boost, and that will be a nice bullseye range one shot. Again, Soontir getting like three of those this game. Vader did do a hard turn up to the top of the board. I believe he's in range, is he? Is he not? Looks like he would be. There you go. Yep, he's in. All right, so we take that bottom point, and now it's two to one in favor of the Empire here. This could be a good turn for Dan. And it does hit. It hits the drone. Down goes the drone. Three points, so it's now 10 to five. This is a big turn, because if Dirge dies as well, right, that's going to be four more points. That's going to be 10 to 10. And then 10, it'll be uh, 12 to 11 in favor of the Empire. So here's soon to your shot. Django, nothing. Range one into Dirge. That's pretty damn good. Oh my god, with a whole breach too. 
yeah, Dirge is, uh, you have to overkill Dirge here. So he spends and is going to die, but does he die? Does he actually die? Let's see. Everything's a crit. So three crits, loose stabilizer. Blinded pilot. I don't think, let's see. Discard and each of the damage cards with pilot traits. So he's on one hole right now and he repairs everything. So he will be able to shoot rack before he dies, essentially. Range one into rack. Who, again, is dangerously close to the board edge. I don't... He can too hard, and that's about it. Nothing. Literally nothing. Console fire roll is uh, nothing for Rack. Now range one into Dirge. You just need one. Oh, another awful roll. I mean, you got a crit in there. You have pal pit crit. Dirge is going to need to roll natties. Doesn't get it. He does die. All right, down goes Dirge. All right, we got ourselves quite the game now because that's going to tie up the game. Uh, 10 to 9? No, it is 10 to 9. Okay. But uh, Grievous still gets to shoot, assuming he has a shot. It is range 3 obstructed outmaneuver, so it's going to be 3 on 4. Vader has his full force. So you re-roll two dice. You need three here. Not good. Only two. Vader is fine. He would have been fine anyways. All right. So 11 to 11 now. We've got ourselves a tie ball game with just 16 and change left in this one. Django just needs to one hard and scramble. He's already got the lock on Vader. Uh, Rack will have to two hard. The one bank, I think, is not worth doing. You don't care about your stress right now. You're not anywhere close to anybody. Can Grievous fit? He cannot. Nope. So Grievous is in a little bit of an awkward place as well. In fact, uh, Grievous is in a bad spot because soon tier is going to too hard and come up to him. So Andre needs to find a way to keep uh, Grievous alive here. It's always good we have close games on stream. I'm a big fan. With Grievous, I'm tempted to fly over the debris. Yeah. Do like what a three bank you would be taking you could be taking another damage from that though and a crit is a crit although i think you can discard the crit right or is it just for taking damage before no, it was just before he would be dealt to face up so he wouldn't take a crit yeah because the one heart is just is a terrible idea because rack's gonna shoot you as well Rack is a, um, how many ion tokens? Two, uh, two ion now, I think. There they are. They were stacked and hiding under the ship where no one could see it. <laughs> Yeah, so the win condition for Andre is to kill the scramble back and then you try to kill uh, Vader. You're not going to kill soon tier.
Hold on your butts, folks. Killing Vader's is only route to victory outside of winning by a point on scramble points. Which I think they're probably going to have two more rounds here. This is not going to be the last round. Soon tier can always just randomly die. Yeah, he's in a safe enough spot. He's got, he's been playing soon tier pretty well, I think. All things considered, he's done a really good job of getting soon tier to do soon tier things. Rack is out of the game now. He will be ionized next turn as well. Yeah, Rack's probably not contributing. He, he, he's probably the worst contributor of the two. Soon Tier has done the most work. It hasn't even been particularly close. All right, this is this road roll matters. And first player is Dan. Which means that Andre can scramble that point last at the top, which is a, is important. And yeah, that's you're flying over the debris there. Takes the stress. Do you take the damage? You don't. Okay, that's that's important. Doesn't take the damage. And here's Rack, just staying stressed. Can't do anything. It was dangerous putting him there, but it worked out. Now, can soon tier line up Bullseye again? As of right now, he does not have a have it. Think you can just focus boost straight, just get closer. You're just gonna stay there, I guess. That's a shot from uh, Grievous as well. Assuming he's still around. Oh, soon tier just one hearted. Okay. That's an odd choice to me. The two hard might have gotten you the bullseye. I'm not sure about that, though. He's just going to lock. Okay. Well, I mean, what else is he going to do? Barrel roll? Django did do the one hard. He does not have a shot right now. He really wants to boost. He really, I think you do it. I think you boost. I think you boost. I think you boost. Don't worry about the point. You got two shots coming into Vader. Oh, he wants to be conservative and just scramble. I think soon tier wants to scramble next turn as well. He's oh he's thinking about it. he's gonna boost. Yep, there it is. Thought he could get the cheeky one. Yeah, range one. Well, no bullseye for soon tier this time. Just out. No focus. Gonna need to rely on palp. And here we go with with soon tier. Range three and a Grievous. Three on three. Grievous' Solus one is active, and Grievous is down to three hole. And you can palp for two. There it is. Spend that palp. Grievous can Solus one here. Do you get that evade? He does not. He does take one more. Okay. Hold on to your butts, folks. Django range one target lock force into Vader at three hole Solus one or a slave one title is active here as well oh my gosh target lock 
Oh, is that a blank? It is. Hitting two crits, Vader. Paint central. Spend two force, he doesn't even take a damage. Oh boy. That's a big one. Rax got nothing. Grievous. Range three outmaneuvered. Wow, not even killing Vader here is gonna probably be what determines the game. Not even doing damage to Vader there. You needed four hits. Grievous, only gonna reroll, needs three. He gets three, Vader. Oh, Vader takes two, he would have died. He would have died if one went through on just one. And now he could probably just run away, right? 13 to 12. With just probably one more round left. Rack gets a third ion. He will be ionized. Yep. There it is. So it looks like the only way to win this game is to kill Vader. That center point is is there for uh, Dan to take. I'm not sure if a two bank gets him close enough. I think it does for uh, Suntier. However, if he does that, he's not going after Grievous anymore. I don't know what Django does. Because Vader did target lock Grievous. So he might be going after Grievous now. I'm not sure what Grievous can do about it, to be honest. He can do like a, he can, he can disengage. The two bank, does the two bank fit? I want to say it does. One bank puts you here. Two bank. I think it fits. You have to get that top point though. You can't go down three zero. You'll for sure lose. Does Vader have afterburners left? Good question. Uh, he does have one left. A big pivotal one charge left. So it's Grievous on two hole. Django has not taken a damage. He could have finished off Vader, but he just got him down to one hole. So a lot of a lot of my games tend to I get I, I scrape someone down to one hole and then the game ends or they get away, which just always happens to me. It's a tough feeling for sure. If he decides to try to run, Grievous could still be right behind him. Road here is going to clinch the game. Yeah. So Andre needs to move last, I assume. Oh, Andre's first player. All right, well, we'll see if that clinches the game or not. Grievous could always, and we'll see. Grievous does do the two bank. Yeah, it does clear. So he could scramble. He doesn't want to though. If Django did the one straight, he could scramble. He is gonna he's gonna take it. Okay. Takes that top one. Mm. 
Rack just clearing the ions now, just doing uh, one bank and bumping into soon tier, apparently. Doesn't matter. He's got a ton of health. The healthy boy. Takes some extra damage. So he's only got nine left. Clears the stress as well. Oh, he does just bump. That's unfortunate. So Fader did a Talon roll. That's how you try. That's how you can kill Grievous. And that I would be shocked if he didn't do a Talon roll. Here comes Soon Tier. Soon Tier now does have does now have Bullseye, but it would would it be obstructed? Probably not. Closest point straight straight line. Ooh. Do you scramble? You do, right? And then you just take sit there with a focus. Yep. And then he could barrel roll, but I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, there's the Talon roll. And he's gonna, yep. Oh boy. So now Impervium plating is gonna be, could be uh, the saving grace, but it's, uh, uh, who knows? Who knows? There's the bullseye. Looks like it's not even gonna be obstructed. Grievous does, or uh, Django doesn't even have a shot. Unobstructed. That's a big deal. Three dice on three dice. Get a, Grievous gets a reroll. He has no focus. I I agree. I think you guys have this game. I we'll see. What did the dice say? Palp is out there as well. Um, but you have your focus. You have Predator. So just not a lot of blanks, please, is what Dan's saying. And he doesn't roll any. That's gonna be three. Grievous. Solus one. That's an eyeball. Takes two more. That's probably gonna. That's gonna do it. He is he dead yet? One, two, three, four. No, he's dead. Okay, yeah, because he took one from the debris. That is the game. Eighteen, twenty to two, twenty to twenty to thirteen. Nice. Django not getting shot is huge. Yep. Very big, for sure. All right. Cool, cool. Django, Django takes his first shield. GG's. Looking forward to losing another series two to three, as we tend to do. That's what we're really good at. All right. Congratulations to Dan. What a great comeback, man. Great game. Order 66 wins. Is they're up two to one now.